Hello. Thank you for joining me, Maria here. With Fourth Dimension Tarot, I'm reading for the sign of Pisces. This one wanted to come out. Let's see what that is. Ooh, Five of Swords. Tell me about Pisces. Six of Cups. Got three for this one. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Somebody's up in their head. Um, so the Five of Swords or the Six of Cups is somebody's missing you, but they uh, like they kind of miss playing in your energy more so than anything else. I have the uh, Two of Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, last place for Pisces, <coughs> with Justice with the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of uh, the Five of Swords, please. King of Pentacles. Tell me about the Six of Cups. I have the Queen of Cups with the two, Three of Wands. Okay, tell me about this Two of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Two of Wands, Ace of Cups for Pisces. Judgment in the reverse. Tell me about the Justice. The Sun, bottom of the deck is the Knight of Swords. Okay, here we go, Pisces. How this works is I pull five cards. You got quite a few more than that, as you can see. Um, and then I clarify with the same deck, the second row of five cards, which I just did. And then I'll pull a third deck to clarify what I just clarified, just to make sure and to get the gritty details because I am a nosy reader. Pisces, you're dealing with what I would consider somebody a little bit more immature than you. They might be younger in age. They also might be um, hmm, manipulating, best way to put it. This person, uh, I feel, misses you tremendously. Um, whether you left this person or you pulled out like from a relationship, divorce, um, mental game, like you cut this person off, you might even block this person. They miss you, current energy. They think of you often. They want to come in and have a conversation, but they're up in their head. They're stuck thinking about this. Um, they're not feeling empowered to come approach you. They have tons of fear, lots of doubt. Uh, complete uncontrollable thoughts, which means day, night, day, night, day, night, thinking about their Pisces, how can I get back? They're may currently sitting in a position or future. Um, they're pondering if I should go in and give my cup of love, an actual commitment um, conversation, and tell them how much I feel about them to you. And this might be um, like, this is a judgment in the reverse. So it's failure to launch is really what it means. It's failure um, to, to face the facts. There's a delay. This might be delayed gratification. That's kind of what I get. Um, more so than face the facts is they might be dealing with a third party. They might be dealing, if it's your energy, you might be a water sign you know, or well, you are a water sign, but you might be dealing um, with another water sign or you might be dealing with an earth sign. And this Queen of Cups is kind of my sense of your energy. They miss this loving, kind, generous, giving, creative human being and they um, are waiting for you to return. They're wanting you to return. And it's, they're not, you're not. They're sitting in an eight, eight of cups, eight of swords, high anxiety, high fear, you're not returning. And they uh, wanna come in and have this truthful conversation. So I have the king of swords at the overall energy is the knight of swords rushing in to make it right, rushing in to kind of like justify, <laughs> defend themselves if they got busted in something they shouldn't have been doing. That's the energy, oh, death card. Yeah, you, you walked away from this. Um, they want to repair it. Here's an eight of wands. So I got three eights on the board, eight, 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 infinity. This might be a soulmate, high level twin flame. So this is somebody who jacked this relationship up either by stepping out, stepping aside, putting energy where they shouldn't have. In this relationship, they pivoted and gave it to somebody else in this third party. It could be anything, work, addiction, gambling, a bunch of cats. I don't know. Like this is just somebody who pivoted without permission or communication. Like um, some somebody, I feel like this this pentacle gave energy where they shouldn't have. Best way to put it, that's all I can see. They just, the, it felt personal to you. And I feel like it is personal, quite frankly. Um, and you cut this, you cut this off. This is you, Queen of Wands, or there might've been a third party. This is my third party card. So the Queen of Wands is Aries Leo Sag. It's also extra energy, like I was just talking about. Queen of Swords, you're matching this energy by having a conversation. You're going to be very truthful when they do come in um, to get your Ten of Pentacles. Ooh, 
you're going to say some things. They're going to say some things. You're going to say some things. Um, it's a lot of burdens being dropped. So they might have been in a long standing relationship with somebody because I have uh, temperance, page of cups, the tower and the ten of wands. So this is a burden being dropped right here. And this is by, um, I call it not really just an adult player, but um, it's like somebody who knows their worth and they, um, but they're very cocky. I don't know what else to say. This person has an ego about them. Very self loving, not, mm. so it's somebody with a low self esteem, but a high self opinion, right? So this person requires like, I just so getting validation on that Pisces, sorry. And it's an immature, it doesn't mean that they're younger than you, but the immaturity is they're just not capable or haven't been exposed to healthy relationships and how to interact. That's this feeling. So they've ran from conflict. If you maybe were too busy for them two weeks ago, their get back was to rush into something else and say, I got people on the side. I can go give energy to you. You know, if you want to pull back, I can play this game. Very immature. So that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. I have the page of wands or the ace, ace of wands. Just kind of said that is they might be rushing into something different, um, new, fresh to feed their energy. I feel like this might have been a while. You might have dated for even a month or up to, you know, marriage. I'm not sure, but I feel like you got two aces out here and there's a judgment in the center of it. So I feel like this is um, a new beginning that didn't include you. Tell me about Pisces. There's the third ace, Ace of Pentacles. They're coming back to offer you this Ace of Pentacles. Um, you are considering, oh my goodness. You might be actually dealing with an Aquarius because these are the similar cards. I got the Nine of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. So you're sitting in a space of, do I really want to do this again? I have a lot of more options too now that I've been sitting by myself evaluating. And um, now I'm going to be hot and cold. Same thing. This is like, like very much twin flame. So somebody reacts somebody's hurt, the other person wants to make amends, now you're kind of pulling your weight. And I mean, that I don't know if this is whose energy I'm reading and not all the Pisces can be going through this at the same time, but for whoever I'm reading for, um, there seems to be a little bit of um, spicy gameplay between the two of you. And this is uh, Four of Swords with the Seven of Swords. That's what I'm saying, it's a lot of deceit. There's, there's the Ten of Swords with the Four of Wands of the World and the Emperor um, and the Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Truth, Ace of Swords, with the Three of Swords with a Lover. So you're sitting in a space of should I stay, should I go, should I remain in this situation? It, there's a lot of dishonesty and gameplay, a lot of manipulation, mind fuck. And uh, quite honestly, this person is trying to act in their emperor and they're going to come and have a conversation with you about the lovers with this Three of Swords. The Three of Swords is somebody who has broken your heart tremendously and you've taken your time to heal over it. And at the end of the day, um, they're determining if, or you're determining if you want to do this or remain in the Nine of Cups independently. I'm going to pull a couple more cards, Pisces, to see what Spirit thinks you should do. There we go. First card out is, yeah, Eight of Swords again. Got that twice, three times, eight, 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 four times. So this is creating a lot of anxiety and you're stuck in your head. They're saying, um, yep, yeah, you're gonna, you're feeling weak like you don't know what to do. I just kind of said that as well. Um, I'm just gonna grab a couple. I have the Hangman in the reverse, the Queen of Cups. Again, it's the same energy, exactly. Um, the Sun in the reverse and the Six of Pentacles. So I'm hearing, don't give to things that make you unhappy. That's, that's it. Pull back your energy and sit in a space. Actually take this time out instead of sitting in a space of just being quiet and watching Netflix with a, you know, Ben and Jerry. You might want to like flip that into a hangman and really do some internal work to discern why you're staying in a relationship that doesn't serve you, especially back and forth with this King of Pentacles twice. So when I get the cards repetitively in the same, two of wands making a choice, two of swords trying to make a, um emotional choice to make a life change decision. So this is spirit telling me to tell you that this is not going to go away unless you look at this from all different angles and that you have, um, when this conversation occurs, you can choose to entertain it or you can move forward. And that's what you want. There it is. Ten of cups again. You want to go for your, your ten of cups. It may be single. It may be independent. It might be with this person, but you sure are not sitting waiting. Um, manifest, uh, magician in the upright is you spirit is 
telling me you have, this is what I was asking with this deck. Um, you have everything you need to go forward um, independently or with this person to confront this situation and move forward and heal or to move forward. You, I don't think you want to heal because there's a six of cups in the reverse where over here in their energy, it's the upright. You're looking back at this and you're somewhat like, because you've had enough time away from this person, this king of pentacles, you're kind of pulling back your energy. And I feel like you're evaluating this with a different perspective and you're seeing that you're unhappy the whole time. Your six of cups is in the reverse. You're not remembering this in the same light they remember because again, um, I feel like you brought the majority, especially with the six of, six of Pentacles, you brought the majority of the resources to this relationship. There you are. You're the queen of Pentacles. Whatever you think you generate, you create. Very strong. And Pisces, this is somebody, um, this is your energy, I feel. And this is somebody that you've dealt with didn't value this level of energy. I think they put you in a pawn status when actually you're the empress. So um, that's twice the king of swords. So either you're meeting in Aquarius, um, Gemini, um, air, another air sign, or this person's coming in to finally be honest with you. And I feel like the queen of swords, your energy is you're gonna have a conversation about this third party. I just think they are gravitating to people that play the game and I think you're elevating. I'm keeping it real. This is the eight of pentacles. You're investing in yourself. Hangman again in the reverse, judgment in the reverse with the emperor, um, with the devil card. There it is right there. Lower vibrational reaction. Um, and this is the reason why it's judgment in the reverse. He didn't make a judgment call. He just acted impulsively with the uh, hangman in the reverse. He just rushed into something. You now have a decision to make. This is spirit saying, it can be yours. You can have this back or you can keep working on yourself and move forward uh, for something better. But this is not something I think that you really want to entertain, quite frankly. I think you're. this is a season of self, self-love. self This is a, a season of reflection and internal work. And I feel like you are elevating, like right as we speak, Pisces, you're moving forward and you're like dropping... Um, not only things that don't serve your highest good and your, what's best for you, but you're finding peace, inner peace. That's like Zen peace. It's kind of cool. Um, I also get the sense, uh, Pisces, with you might be you might be experiencing like new understandings. Like I feel like either you're reading something, you're ed like going through courses or classes or education, you're like bettering yourself wholly, not just not just your heart. I think whatever you're reading is helping you. Tell me about Pisces. The uh I have no first card out. No. And then on the other side vacation. Um you'll be seeking a vacation. That's weird. Okay. So, here we go. I wanted to know about Pisces and that that card was flipped over. Yeah, okay, the only card. All right, so tell me more about Pisces. You might be just thinking about you need a vacation from this. Pets. Again, you might be getting a pet. You might be considering a pet. You might be taking care of somebody's pet. I feel like you might be... Um, and again, not everybody has a pet, but Spirit's like, I feel like you might be looking at a pet. Intimacy, that's what you're lacking, is is this was sexual. This was a very sexual, and you're, don't confuse lust with love. Um, the world here is an ending to a cycle. Um, that's what I feel, is is you're seeking um, intimacy at a much deeper level than what this person gave you, and that's why it lacked that level. I think it didn't lack some sparks, but it definitely, it got um, interrupted. Communicate. You guys are not communicate. You're not working it out right now, but it's coming in. They're going to text you. They're going to call you. Moving. They might tell you they're moving. You might moving. It's change of residence. You might be moving in with your person. Um, I think I pulled this card for Aquarius, actually. You also might be dealing with a water sign. This is a heavy cancer card, too. It's like chariot, right? Which is the cancer's card. Um, tell me more. Open your heart. That's the same. I swear it's the same one with Aquarius. So you might be dealing with an Aquarius. Um, you're guarded. They're guarded. You both are hurt. And this is going to take a minute for you to heal. Last. Ooh. Move on. And it flipped out when it, when that does that, it's like the overall undercurring subconscious energy is um, I kind of hear that your person is maybe unemotionally available for what? 
the level you want. And so you might be getting a different part partner um, in the future if you are able to release this and receive something different, which is kind of why I feel like you need to heal and spend some time in self, right? That's kind of what I feel. And this uh, 10 of wands that you're dropping it, it's like dropping, you know, a buck 80 right there. You're just feeling the weight fall off you. Female, male, it doesn't matter, but Pisces, if this resonates, please consider hitting that subscribe button and then the uh, notification bell. If you want more details, you want to get into the nitty gritty regarding your situation, um, as this is a collective reading and not everybody will resonate, feel free to hit that comment. Uh, there's a link in the comment box and you can go ahead and uh, pick a time that you and I can spend together and uh, we'll read your energy specifically as it goes uh, for you. And until next time, Pisces, love and light. Take care.